Hey guys, Jaybird here, and today we're going to be doing another really quick tutorial, and today's tutorial is going to be covering how to prevent dog rounds from actually occurring in your map. So this, you could do this for a number of reasons. You might not want dogs because you don't like dog rounds, or maybe uh, you just don't feel like having to set it up and have it to work, so you just want to get rid of them, you just want to have zombie rounds, or maybe you want your own boss round. So today we're going to be covering that. Alright guys, let's get started. Alright guys, so we're going to be kind of just starting off with the tutorial here, but the thing is we're not going to be doing this in Radiant. It's going to involve a little bit of scripting, but not much at all, literally just changing one line. Really simple. So what I'm going to have you do is just in Launcher, come up to your map, and do Show, uh, show Zone Folder. That's going to open up all the way to your Zone Source folder, and that'll make it easy for getting to Call of Duty Black Ops 3. So what we're going to do is just come back to here, Come back to your root folder, Call of Duty Black Ops 3. And in a lot of tutorials, you might hear people say root folder. They mean Black Ops 3. So we're gonna come to share, raw, scripts, ZM. And then what we're gonna want, is so we're gonna wanna go all the way down to user maps. So ZM user map. We're gonna wanna copy this, so Control C, right click, do whatever you want, copy that. We're gonna come back out of share. And we're going to come, so we're back at the root, we're going to go to user maps, you're going to go under your map, we're going to go scripts, ZM, and just paste it there. So there we go, we just put it right there. So now, the reason why I'm copying and pasting this is we don't want to edit the original one, we just want to make a duplicate and edit what's in it. So we're going to just double click this and it's going to open up in whatever text editor you have. I'm using a program called Sublime. And I used to use a program called Notepad++, but I'll add a, a download uh, link in the description if you want to download this program. Uh, we'll also have a setup tutorial on how to get it to read GSC. Uh, but anyways, what you're going to want to do in any of your uh, programs is come down. We're going to end out searching for a specific line. Uh, so one second while I look for that line. So yeah, right here. So that line number is going to be 142. So it's going to say default level dog rounds allowed. So this is going to be setting a, a variable called level dot dog rounds. It's setting it to one. In coding, that means true. All you have to do is change that value to zero. Save this file. So I just controlled uh, S there. I can close that. So that's already done. Literally all the scripting you needed to do. Then we're going to go right click on here and do edit zone file. So this is going to take us into another um, another file called a dot zone file. So th this is where we're going to want to call the script from so it does the changes. So what I'm going to do is just copy one of the lines here. So you want to have script parse tree and then scripts zm because this is showing where the file was. So if you remember correctly it was in our test map then it was in scripts zm and the file was called ZM user map. So we're just going to put that on the end there. So it goes script parse tree, comma, and then the directory. So scripts, ZM, and the file name, ZM user maps. So there you go, guys. Once you save that, all you have to do is come, uh, just do a link with your test map or whatever map you're doing, and then hit build and then run, and you won't have dog rounds anymore. I hope that helps you guys out, and don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more tutorials. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one.